When I told them, wallahi, they were falling about on the floor, crying. They were crying, holding their sides. When I, when I told them what I used to do with my t-shirt, they said, stop, stop. They couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. They were laughing, <laughs> laughing so much. They were laughing so much. SubhanAllah. So, anyway, the, when, as I mentioned, um, brother, brother Baba Ahmed, the first talk I did was for him. The second talk I did was for his brother, Omar Ahmed, at Cardiff University. And my topic was uh, back to basics. John Major was in power at the time, Conservative uh, Prime Minister John Major, and his slogan was back to basics. So they said, look, the Muslims, they're not practicing Islam. And we want you to go down there and do a talk and inspire them. You know, get them back because you're a new Muslim and you love the deen, inshallah, and you want, we want them to be you know, really enthusiastic. So I gave a talk, and I have to be honest with you, it was the worst talk I ever gave. I was very unhappy. I felt I was harsh, sanctimonious, arrogant. I felt afterwards, I, I felt disconnected from my audience. You know, I thought, my man, that wasn't good. And I didn't know what I didn't know what to say. And I did a lot of soul searching afterwards. I wanted to understand what was it that was different about their journey to Islam than mine. Why did I feel the way I felt about Islam? Why did they not feel the way? that I felt. What was going on? Why, you know, I didn't understand. And then I struck upon a few basic facts that I and many converts had gone through. And when I say converts, I don't just mean non-Muslim to Islam. I mean even those Muslim brothers who were not practicing before became, became practicing. The first thing was, and this is a question for all of you and for the sisters, how many of you have read from beginning to end the meaning of the Quran in, an under, in a language you understand. I don't mean in Arabic. I remember when I first went to a masjid, I remember hearing this. And I looked and there was a curtain there. And I moved the curtain and I saw these kids rocking backwards and forwards like this. And then I saw a man with a stick rocking backwards and forwards. So this is a madrasa. I'm not talking about finishing the Quran. I'm not talking about learning in Arabic. No, I'm talking about the message of Islam in a language that you understand. So if you only, if you read and understand Somali, you read the Quran in Somali. If you read and understand English, you read the message of Islam, message of the Quran. So how many of you have read the whole of the Quran in a language you understood? Put your hands up, you read it all. From Fatiha to Adnas. Okay, okay. Oh, here's my next question. And it's for the sisters as well. You should put your hands up too so that you can see each other's hands, sisters, yeah? How many of you know the meaning of your tashahid, at tahiyatu lillahi wa salawat wa tiba. Not your shahada, not your declaration of faith. The tashahid which you say after the second rakah. How many of you can tell me what that means in English? And I mean smooth, not at tahiyya. I think it means, hang on a minute, just one second. No. How many of you know it's smooth from beginning to end, from, fat, from the beginning to the end? Tashahid. We say it nine times a day, at least. Tashahid. Put your hands up if you know your tashahid. In English. In English. Okay, so nobody here knows the meaning of the tashahid in English. Okay, how many of you can tell me three verses of Quran in English about Salah? Three verses of Quran about Salah in English. Three. If you know three, put your hands up. And I will ask you. Three verses of Quran about Salah. Three. You know three? Three different verses. I want those like dodgy, like you know, that kind of means salah. Salah. On like I'm gonna I'm gonna take one away from you, so maybe don't claim I don't claim you're gonna use this one. So that I could do it. Pray. For truly the prayer stops from Al Fashad and Al Munkar every evil wicked act. Now, let's say you're three, bro. Stop. This is not about salah. About prayer. I'm talking about Salah. Not three verses of Quran. I'm talking about three verses of Quran about Salah. Because we know what's the first thing we will be called to account for on the day of judgment. Salah. Okay. So I'm asking for three verses of Quran about Salah. In English, yeah. Anybody? Three? In English, brother, please. Thank you, one. Really, 
I'll use it one. 